Okay. Right. See here. Good morning, all. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, good morning, all of you. But join within time. We don't take uh, excess time. Right. Here we are. While we are discussing uh, general characters of bryophytes, generally the bryophytes are okay, they are the chlorophyllous, autotrophic, uh, archegoniate, adrachiophytic, cryptogams. Right. Okay, that is the things here we discussed. At a fast, we have to go through. Okay, I am going to present. Where is it? Right. Yes, is it visible? The slide is visible to you now. Uh, yes. Okay, generally, I already discussed regarding all this. Again, at a glance, here we are going to see the general characters of all these bryophytes. See, generally, bryophytes are chlorophyllous, autotrophic, embryophytic, atracheophytic, archegoniate, amphibians, or amphibious cryptogams. Okay, they are the they are bear chlorophyll, they are autotrophic. For the first time, the embryos were seen in this group of plants, hence called as embryophytes. First, embryophytic plants, these are the bryophytes. Atracheophytes means here we never come across with any sort of vascular tissues like xylem and phloem. Xylem and phloem are totally they are absent here. We never come across such things here. Right? Next, here. Whereas they are the archegonia, it means for the first time they bear the archegonia and then the embryos. Embryos. Within that, these archegonia are the female reproductive structures. They are seen in this plant group of plants. Then they are the amphibious plants. Amphibious means they can survive both on land as well as on water, like frogs. Right? See, there, that is an amphibian. Like that, here plants they can survive both in water as well as on the land. Hence, they are calling this group of plants as amphibious plants. They generally, they are the cryptogams. Why they never produce any flower, food, etc. Hence, they are the flowerless, seedless, poor bearing plants. Hence, we are calling them as cryptogams. See, hence, these are the chlorophyllous, autotrophic, embryophytic, atracheophytic, archegoniate, and amphibious cryptogams. Generally, here they show heteromorphic alteration of generation that we come across already. See, the bryophyte here is the Dalsonia, and then Jupis argenta is the smallest bryophyte we come across here. Right. Come to the next aspect. But uh, these are the two scientists. Here, uh, Johann Hedwig is the father of biology, belongs to Germany. When compared to our country here, father of biology in India is Shuram Ashya, the scientist who did a lot of work on the bryophytes. Huh? Pretty well known about this. Here, bryophytes are the primitive land plants that grow on moist, shady localities. Whereas they started their life in the presence of water and complete their life cycle uh, with, by having the motile gametes, that what we are calling as anthrozoites. Without water, they can't complete their life cycle. Hence, water is must. Water is must for the growth, for the completion of life cycle. Hence, water plays a crucial role in that activity. <coughs> See, generally, <clears throat> here the gametophytes are colloid, leaf like. They are having stem like structures called as colloid, and leaf like abundance called as colloids, and the root like structures called as rhizoids. Here you will come across with all the things, bryophytes. See, this is the, the Mercantia. See, these are the mosses. Moss plants, what you come across in your photographs. See, generally, see this here the plant body is a colloid or leaf like form having stem like structures. There is colloid and antrum, leaf like structures, colloids. And the rhizoids root like structures. The true root stem leaf are totally absent here. Here, plant body itself is the thallus. Thallus, thallus means the plant body which does not differentiate it into root stem and leaf. 
ఇక్కడ వేరు కాండం పక్కమని భాగాలుగా ఇక్కడ విభేదనం చెంది ఉండదు కాబట్టి దాన్ని మనము హాలస్ అని అంటాం బాడీ విచ్ బియర్స్ స్ట్రక్చర్స్ థాలోఫైట్స్ అని పిలవడం జరుగుతుంది come to the next context they generally the sexual organs they are the antheridium and archegonium they are present antheridium is a male reproductive structure whereas the archegonium is the female reproductive structure whereas see these are the antheridium fours and the dislike structure this is the antheridium whereas here this is the archegonium four this is the dislike structure that coming from thallid plant body thallid plant body uh, we have giant plants within the time See, you, you are interrupting the glass. Don't do that. A given a three to five minutes time. By that time itself, you have to join. Right. Generally, here the egg cell that is fertilized, that is present in the winter, that will be fertilized by the anthrozoites. They swim through water and uh, carry out the process of fertilization. Thereby, they are producing the spores. We are calling them as, all the spores are of similar types. Hence, we are calling them as a homospores. Homospores. Whereas they show the gametophytic generation. The first cell, the spore is the first cell of the gametophytic generation. Here the spore germinates and produces the protonema. So there is a juvenile filament stage. Juvenile filament stage. Either the, the spore has the ability to produce the gametophytic plant directly or by producing a juvenile filament stage called as protonema. And then the spore germinates in the gametophyte. Juvenile stage is the first cell. జూనియర్ స్టేజ్ అయినటువంటి ఫిలమెంటస్ ఫామ్ అయినటువంటి ప్రోటోని మనీ కూడా ప్రొడ్యూస్ చేయవచ్చు జస్ట్ అబ్జర్వ్ చేసి ప్లాంట్ హియర్ హియర్ హ్యాస్ దబిలిటీ టు ప్రొడ్యూస్ మేల్ గ్యామిట్స్ అండ్ ఫిమేల్ గ్యామిట్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఇన్ ద వెంటర్ ప్లస్ దే యునైట్ దే క్యారీ అవుట్ ద ప్రాసెస్ ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ అండ్ ఫామ్ ద సైగోడ్ దట్ సైగోడ్ అండ్ మియాసిస్ అండ్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ ద స్పోర్స్ దో స్పోర్స్ హ్యాస్ ద ఎబిలిటీ టు ప్రొడ్యూస్ ద గ్యామిటోఫెటిక్ సారీ ద డిప్లాయిడ్ స్పోరోఫైట్ They, they undergo mitosis and produces a sporophyte. That sporophyte again produces this is a sporophytic plant body. This sporophytic plant body undergoes meiosis and produces spores. These spores on germination gives such to gametophyte. Or it may have the ability to produce the protonema. Filament is a farm. That is what we are calling as protonema. Protonema and direct change will have a direct gametophyte and produce change. This is the life cycle of this plant body. So now come to see the pictures of this. This is the the different classes here the class in now this is the topic here we are going to discuss in detail classification of bryophytes see for this classification of bryophytes here you have to come across with a slide see now i am going to share uh, the one more thing so i come to the classification of bryophytes here in case of classification of bryophytes we are going to see See here, the term bryophyte in general was coined by the brown. See, that includes the different components are there. But the bryophyte has been categorized earlier. This is the primary classification. So that was given by the angler during their 1892. The hepatici or liverworts and muscae or mosses. See, these are the things that were classified earlier. See, ma, this is the this classification proposed by angler. angler. See, Merkin shales, Jenger manuals, Anthocereals, these are the orders that are present under Hepatici or liverworts. Whereas, class 2, there is Muscae or Mosses, it includes Stagnales, Andreals, and then Byrales. Priales, Priales, sorry. See, this is, but later on, Brown, in 1864, here, he coined the term Bryophyta, and he placed it uh, for the group Algae, Fungi, and Lichens, etc., etc. But liverworts and Mosses, they come under Bryophyta, the Algae, Fungi, and Lichens, they come under Thalophytes later on. later on right see however see the uh, till now i told eichler is a scientist he classified hepatici and muscae the later on how they he classified the bryophyta into hepatici anthocereales and then muscae so this is an important one this is an important one these are the old classification the earlier primary classification that are proposed by different scientists but do not worry regarding those just have an idea at a glance right next Rock Miller in 1951 suggested the following classes taxon of the old ones that is hepatic apsidae for hepatic a and the syrup apsidae for anthocerate and the bryopsidae for muscae means these are the names hepatic apsida anthocerate anthocerate apsida bryopsida these are the new names 
that were given by the scientist Rothmeller in 1951. And he suggested the classes, right, hepatic A, anthocerate, muscae, wheat, and indigene replaces it. He scientist came and paid, paid better, hepatic oxida, and hepatic A, anthocerate, and anthocerate oxida, and muscae, and bryoxida, and paid better. Then the modern biologist does classify bryophyta into three classes. See, generally, that is hepatic oxida, anthocerate oxida, and bryoxida. You know what we are revealing. Manamu pilchuna 20, manamu amalai, manamu amalu pracha 20. What we are following, the classification is this. Right? See here, bryo, bryo, bryophyte ID includes three uh, classes the hepatic oxida, anthocerate oxida, bryoxida. First, come to see this hepatic oxida. Hepatic oxida is also called as liver words in Bill Samoa. Manamu, why, why here the thallus is like that of uh, a liver like means here somewhat it is uh, uh, liver mass can be found the or uh, 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 sporophyte good with an out to make up with hepatic oxygen in the liver words any pilotum jerry whereas and the set of serialo we could not in the thallus here it is producing the harm hard like spore sporophytic plant but harm like a sporophytes sporophytes not even harm like one of the way harm words harm words any See, they are present, that is anthocerate oxida. Now, next come to bryopsida. Whereas, in case of this bryopsida, here many of them are, many plants, they are, uh, they are generally they are treated as mosses. Mosses, any pilotum, jadutamu. You just observe this. So this is the liver words, some uh, liver words, whereas uh, this is the, these are the rhizoids that are present there, these are the horn words. See, here they are producing the sporophytes in the form of horns, hence they call them as. Hornwoods, hornwoods and what Pilodum, Zerigindi. Then what are the features? What are the features of this that you have to go to that? Here, come to see this. First, come to the hepatic oxidase. What is hepatic oxidase? You know, this is the state of the town. Hepatic oxidase, a minute. Wait a minute. Someone is joining. Right. But as come to this hepatic oxidase, generally we are calling them as liver words. Generally, here the gametophyte is thallus or polyaceous or folios. Generally, they contain the unicellular rhizoids. They contain the unicellular rhizoids. Whereas sex organs present on the dorsal surface of the thallus, there, whereas the sporophyte, either simple in case of Risia or may be differentiated into foot seta and capsule in case of Marchensia. Marchensia law. Of the foot seta capsule and the of the generally the elators are present but absent in Risia. The elators in Edwi, one of the Mercantial Country, Marisia, and the generally here the dehiscence of this capsule is irregular and indefinite and normal. Chop coach. You just observe this. See here. See, I will come to this later on. First, here uh, we have to discuss up to orders. Orders here we have to discuss. See, whereas the hepatic oxida till now we revealed. The hepatic oxida, anthocerate oxida, and bryoxida are there. Come to this hepatic oxida. Whereas in case of this hepatic oxida, again it has been categorized into seven orders. That is Takakiales, Calobirales, Jangarmaniales, Midzigiriales, then Mercantiales, then Spirocarpales, and then Monocelials. So these are the seven orders that are mentioned under this hepatic oxida. The hepatic oxida is the eight order. But here the important thing what we are going to read, what we are going to study is the mercantials, mercantia, uh, mercantia, lunularia. These are the things here we are going to study. The mercantials is the order we are going to study in detail. See, they, the scientists they classified the hepatic oxida, your words into Seven orders. What are the seven orders? Takakiales. Don't know any Takakiales. The second one is Calobirales. Calobirales. Third one is Jangarmoniales. Jangarmoniales. And then the fourth order is Midgeriales. Midgeriales. This fourth order. Fifth order is Mercantiales. Mercantiales. Any? Then the sixth order is. Pyrocarpales, pyrocarpales, 
then the seventh order is monothelials monothelials so these are the seven orders that are meant, uh, divided under that are kept under hepatic oxida that is liver words but here the important order what we are studying as a type study here is mercantials mercantials which one kada chadutam okay so this is about the hepatic oxida now come to the anthocyanate oxida whereas in case of this anthocyanate oxida we come across with the uh, horn words horn words generally it includes only one order that what we are calling as anthocyanates anthocyanates so this uh, class anthocyanate uh, anthocyanate oxida belongs only one order that is anthocyanates mathme unnaikada now next come to the bryopsida next class here is bryopsida whereas in case of this bryopsida it is mosses again this categorized into different sub classes tagnidae so there is tagnidae then and andridae tagnidae andridae box bomidae then box bomiales it includes bridae bridae and the last polytrichidae see like this the class bryopsida again it has been categorized into five sub classes five sub classes ga divide cheyadam jarigindi then bryopsida ane class ni mosses ni mosses ni bryopsida ni five sub classes ga divide cheyadam jarigindi first sub class enti tagnidae tagnidae kada then second sub class is and andridae andridae then third sub class is buxbomidae buxbomidae fourth one is bridae bridae fifth one is polytrichidae na na slide is visible to you na are you listening yes sir ah uh, yes slide is visible to you na help us on sir okay right but first come to see this the tagnidae it includes the order sphagnales sphagnum and chadu intermi the uh, the example for this order is sphagnum sphagnum so, see tagnidae is the first class it includes the order sphagnales similarly andridae is the another sub class it includes the order andriales andriales is another order that is present under that then the third sub class is buxbomidae it includes the order buxbomiales buxbomiales okay so then the largest the known well known uh, sub class is braidae it includes order pisidentales dicranales podiales germiales finariales histostegials s c h i schisto ki schisto histostegials tetraphyrales eubirales isobirales hookerials and then hypnobirales hypnobirales see here all these are the different types of uh, uh, orders we come across we come across under the bryopsida press come to see bride uh, bride kind of one manam chadutunna now come to polytrichidae press in case of this polytrichidae there polytrichials wait a minute on kalyan in line is nagal velthunnaru it includes polytrichidae it includes the order polytrichials and the dasoniales See here the thing we are going to study important task here is either it may be bride lo finaria na chadavachu polytrichidae lo polytrichials poly polytrichum unna manam ikkada chadavachu as a type study see this is the classification up to the orders orders varaku manam classify cheyadam jarigindi see ikkada clear ga kanipistundi chudanna adani kanna see here it is very as per this icbn see hepatic oxidase that is liver words See, this is anthocyanate oxide. There is onwards bryopsida. This is mosses. They include stachyaceals, allobirals, germaniales, fragiliales, mackenzieals, thyrocarpels, and then monocyles. 
whereas it includes only one order that is anthocyanidins. But whereas here, pagnidae, pagnels, andridae, andrels, boxbomidae, boxbomiels. See, this slide is very clear when compared to the earlier one. See here, this will be. This was adopted by the scientists, Pakhtajan, then Schuscher, Barrier, and other. See, all these are the scientists here. They adapted and follow this classification that was given by uh, proposed by this uh, ICBM. There is a lot of botanical knowledge. Right. Later on, so the Braidae is there. Braidae includes order Pisidentales, Dacryniales, Podiales, Jirmicales, Pinariales. Chizostigales, tetraphyls, eubirals, isobirals, hookerials, hypnobirals. But eleven orders are there under Braidae. Eleven orders are there under Braidae. Then the last subclass that is Polytrichidae. It includes only two orders, Polytrichidae and uh, uh, Dasonians. Dasonians. Right. Now. Come to see this. Come to the hepatic oxida. This hepatic oxida includes around about 330 genera and 8,000 species. 3,000 sorry, 330 genera and 8,000 species throughout the world. So it includes order Calobirales, that is moss-like hepatics, Jungermanniales, scale moss hepatics, whereas Mergeriales, multiform thallus, Mercantiales, chambered hepatics, so, chambered Whereas pedocarpales, they are the bottle shape. Whereas monocleales, they are the gained thallus. Means here the thallus is very, very large. Here all these are the orders that are put under the class hepatic oxidase, which includes 330 genera and 8,000 species. Then based on the structure of the gametophyte, all these they were given. Whereas anthocyte oxida, it has seven genera and a single order. Seven genera and Single order that is anthocyanidins. Okay, okay. Uh, order of this one, anthocyanidins. I mean, now we'll come to the next. That is Bryophyta. It includes 700 genera, 14,000 species. 700 genera under 14,000 species under this. Okay. See the order Spagnel means it includes different orders that is Spagnels, Arachidales, Tetraphyls. Andrials, virals, polytrichials, tetrachials. Right? And all these are the, the different uh, orders that were kept under this. See, all these are based on the cap the gametophyte and poropite were given importance, and the two peristome was given very much importance in case of this peristome, which is the intermediate law. The peristome cap means that is the operculum which uh, it will open. Thereby, the spores will be released out of the capsule. Capsule means wide gill bone and the sahagris, the third part of the peristome. Mouth like opening that is present at the end of the capsule. It is the peristome that is present at the present in the sporophytic body, that is the capsule. Capsule. Now, here we are going to see the salient features of all these. Salient features of all these classes. So generally, the class hepatic oxida, generally, the plant body is alloid or polyaceous. The alloid is not only fully useless, means the feathers are not fully useless, like leaf like structure, and this is the same. Hence, we are called as polyaceous, like the polyos are not. Polyos, polyaceous are not, that is, leaf like structures are there. Then the rhizoids are present, but without any septa. Cross walls are absent in the rhizoids. Cross walls are not the same, but the rhizoids are not. Leo Kavati, simple, a separate rhizoids are not, fill out of the rhizoids. Hence, the rhizoids are Simple, they are present without any septa. Usually simple and tuberculate. Simple on the chilada, tuberculate good on the chill. Whereas the ventral scales are present in this group of plants. Ventral scales and the particular canpistae. Whereas generally the cells have chloroplast without pyrenoids. Cells are only an indlo, chloroplast can be some way, but they are lacking a pyrenoid. Pyrenoids are totally absent here. Whereas generally the green cells contain simple or compound oil bodies. Green cells are the same. What law? Simple or they may be compound oil bodies may be present within the cells. So generally the sex organs, that is the antheridae and archegonia, they are the sex organs that are present here, 
they develop from the superficial cells of the dorsal side of the thallus. Right? Except when they are in terminal in position. Terminal carbona, but they don't like that. They generally they are developing from superficial cells. The dorsal side. Dorsal side of the body, superficial cells in which sex organs will be originated. They may develop from the superficial cells of the dorsal side of the thallus. Okay? They accept means when they Okay, they are differentiated into foot, seat and capsule. Come to the point of sporophyte. So generally, the sporophytes are simple. They may be differentiated into foot, seat and capsule. If three parts of the animal, sporophyte, foot, seat and capsule. While we are studying the diet study, we are going to see in detail. In detail regarding this. Regarding the detail information regarding, we are going to see 
in upcoming classes regarding these structures. Whereas sporophyte is completely and totally it is dependent or it is parasitic on the gametophyte that we know. Whereas sporangium, the basis of the sporangium is irregular or maybe regular. So these are the salient features of a, this hepatic oxidase. You just observe this. Just observe. <coughs> Here, plant body is there. The plant body has the ability to produce anthridia and archegonia. Anthridia and archegonia. Then just maybe the anthridia produces it, archegonia produces it. See, they produce male gametes and female gametes. They produce the spores. See, these anthridia and archegonia, they have the ability to produce anthridia and archegonia. They combine and fuse, they form the uh, zygote in the venter. This fertilization will be carried out here. See this, observe this. This is a sperm. Generally, it is a hook like structure having flagella. It swims through the water coming from the anthridial branch. Whereas within the archegonial branch, within the venter cell is there. It come and join with this. And Bio, later on develops into the angsporophyte. That is the sporophytic tissue. With this sporophyte, upon attaining the maturity, it undergoes meiosis and it produces the mature sporophytic plant body. Now, till now I told that this is the foot vessel portion, the central portion is the seta, whereas this is the capsule. Capsule. Right? See, once generally these are the sporangium bears, the spores, generally they are deployed in nature, there they undergo meiosis and produces haploid spores. See, these electrons are there. See, they are hygroscopic in nature that helps in the dehiscence of this sporangial wall. Thereby, they, uh, uh, the dehiscence of the sporangium gets, uh, leads to the liberation of the spores. Those spores upon germination uh, produces the uh, plant body. So, there is male, gam male uh, that is uh, thallus. thallus. Uh, these are the spores upon germination. They have the ability to produce this plant body. One is the male plant body, another one is the female plant body. There is the uh, thallus. Different uh, thallus. See, like this, the life cycle will be continued in case of a, uh, what we can call it as <coughs> Merkin shells. There is, uh, sorry, uh, hepatic oxida. Class hepatic oxida. We are studying that for Merkin shells. This is a study of Merkin shells. Merkin shells and Ivy. We are going to study in detail, in detail in one class to so choose something. Now come to see this, the another class that is anthracite oxida. See, in case of anthracite oxida, here the plant body is a alloy, but is it dorsi ventrally flattened. Here the rhizoids only simple without septa, but ventral scales are absent here. Whereas there is no differentiation of tissue in the thallus. Generally, the cells bear large chloroplastic conspicuous pyrenoids. Generally, the sex organs are embedded in the thallus tissue. Very, very important point. There they are coming out of the Thallus. But here, in case of anthocytes, the sex organs are embedded in the thallus tissue. Remember that. Whereas the anthridia developed from the hypodermal cells of the thallus, they are on the dorsal side, located in the anthridial chamber singly or in groups. Whereas archegonia, they are sunken on the dorsal surface or dorsal side of the thallus, developed from the superficial cells. And then you can add, if sex organs are the anthridia, archegonia, and the thallus lopala, inkipotai, lopal ki, uchkuni untai, sunken in shape. See, in the Munuman Japuna 20, Mercantial liver words, so hepatic oxidal or Lagado, and the body coach, and the Argibunim and structures my countries, my picker at Lagado. They are hidden, they are embedded in the thallus tissue. Remember that. That is the difference. Whereas Parangia, they are elongated and cylindrical, arises from the dorsal side of the thallus and appears like that of Hans. Hans mother can be sized Parangia, hence we are calling them as onwards and he will order the look of the. Similarly, the sporangium, they elongate and cylindrical arise from the dorsal side of the thallus. See, generally, it bears at a foot to seta capsule and so on. But it could have foot to seta on the instead of seta, meristematic region will be there. Meristematic region will be there and capsule will be there. Then, meristem is intercalary in position here. So, generally, due to this sporangium, continues its growth throughout the growing system. It could have throughout the growing system, the sporangium is the root and the root. See, generally, here, the capsule uh, wall has the chlorophyll and stomata. Capsule wall is having both uh, meristematic tissue is there, whereas uh, 
it is having chlorophyll and stomata hence it can lead its own life alumella and pseudoelets are present here alumella is there pseudoelets are there but sporogenous tissue developed from the amphithecium sporogenous tissue that developed from the superficial layers of the cell amphithecium which is sporogenous tissue and ikkada develop aitha undi so this is the uh, study of the anthro ceratopsida so just observe this here spores the life cycle of anthoceras generally here the spore tetrads are there spores upon germination so generally this is the plant body it produces antheridium and archegonium see these are uh, embedded in the uh, gametophytic plant body so this is the it produces sperm it produces the egg cell it is present in the winter they fuse and form the fertilized form the zygote it is a pro embryo embryo later on it produces the Mature sporophytic plant body like this, like this. So this is the sporophyte. Hence, it appears like a plant. It is continuously growing due to the presence of the meristematic tissue in that. Hence, we are calling them as. It appears like that a plant. Hence, what is onwards and the last. See, a bryopsida, bryopsida. See here. I think the time is up now. Are you listening? It's still 10 minutes more. By 12:35, I am going to wind up. You just go through. So I am going to wind up this biopsy. So the primary gametophyte consists of the prostate and filamentous arthralid, protonema, and the gamet uh, and the erect gametophore. Erect gametophore. So these are the structures that are present here. Right. Whereas the adult gametophore of the stem spirally arranged, whereas leaves and the sex organs are at its apical portion ivanni unna ikkada prostate filamentous plant body mana kanipistundi the lad protonema kanipistundi generally it is erect gametophore kada manam ikkada meer gamaninchandi here the plant body is erect observe this this is a gametophytic plant body whereas this is the sporophytic plant body so generally this is dependent on the gametophyte so like how already you come across in your spotters while you are in intermediate you come across this pinaria ivanni you choose inter polytrichum nani choose inter right so there is a plant body here the primary gametophyte Consists of the prostate filaments or the light protonema, and later on it develops into the erect gametophyte. So the other gametophyte consists of stem, parallelly arranged leaves, as well as sex organs at its apical portion. The rhizoids are generally multicellular branched with oblique septa. Right? Rhizoids are generally branched with oblique septa. Right? 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 Sex organs are generally developed in nine. So generally, the sporophyte is divided into foot seed and capsule. So generally, the capsule uh, consists of the stomata, which the capsule section will be taking place. Whereas the sporogenous mass, uh, sporogenous mass develops mostly from the outer layer of the endothelium within the uh, addition form of columella. Within the columella, sporogenous tissue will be produced. Later on, those sporogenous tissue undergo meiosis and produce spores. See, there the elements are totally absent, but peristome is there. And a pickle opening called as uh, uh, through this peristome it opens. It apophysis will become open, and the spores will be liberated in all sort of uh, in all uh, these masses. Now this so there is a type of uh, structures here. So just observe this. So the plant body is a gametophytic plant. The upper one is a sporophytic plant. Here, how what 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 it is what how it is going? Generally, it produces the spores, whereas a Produce ungerminating produces here the gametophyte and then male gametophyte, female gametophyte. See these gametophytic produce bodies, antheridia and archegonia. See they produce the sperms and the egg cell in the archegonia. They fuse and they form the fertilize. They form the zygote. That zygote undergo mitotic divisions and form the embryo. That embryo gives rise to the egg sporophyte. Egg sporophyte like this. See this egg sporophyte again is having this is the calyptra. See this gives rise to this is the sporophyte here. So this is parasitic on the gametophytic plant body. So within this sporophytic plant body, the capsule will be like this. Upon the presence of the apophysis, the peristomial teeth will be there. Peristome consists of the peristomial teeth that help in the liberation of the opening of the uh, cap or operculum. Thereby the spores will be liberated. 
upon favorable condition this force germinate again produces the protonema that protonema gives rise to the end gametophytic plants like this it like how like how the mm, the plant body shows it's a uh, life cycle and this is about the classification classification of uh, both the all the three classes all the three hepatic oxida and the serid oxida and bry oxida this is the story that is pertaining to uh, bryophytes okay na are you getting is it audible are you having any doubts are you having any doubts is raise the problem Still two to three minutes. Time is there. Three. Then after then then you have to join the class. The next class for next period. Okay, na na na. Can I stop recording? See, are you having any doubts? Please uh, raise the questions. Here till now we discussed about the general characters. I already completed in there. at the classes but again i revealed for 5 to 10 minutes regarding the general characters general features and then we come across with the classification of bryophytes up to the order level and in detail uh, context regarding the three classes the three classes how the gametophyte is there how the sporophyte will be how they carry out the process of life cycle right in next class we go for a detailed composition of detailed detailed structures of merken shells merken shell means some and then Bryophyta lo, either Fusarium or Polytrichum. Anyone, if these two components be completed, that ends to the type study of uh, these two plants or uh, bryophytes. Otherwise, okay. See, inform your friends who are absent for today's class. Ma, you are either absent or you are not. You are okay. Inform them. Say, must and should they have to attend? Must and should they have to attend? Here the attendance will be sent to the CCE or official so that you are going to reap the benefits. Otherwise, you will lose your benefits. So join the class within time. Okay, now are you having any doubts? Please raise the questions now itself. Next one. To write an assignment on this. To write assignment on uh, the classification of bryophytes. <laughs> నెక్స్ట్ మంత్ ఆఫ్ లైన్ ఉంటాయా సార్ క్లాస్ లో ఆ మోస్ట్లీ కొంచెం చెప్పలేం ఇఫ్ ద ఇంటెన్సిటీ ఆఫ్ దిస్ పాండమిక్ కండిషన్స్ ఆర్ డిక్లైనింగ్ డే బై డే डेफिनेटली యు ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు గెట్ ఫర్ ఆన్లైన్ క్లాస్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ డిపెండ్స్ ఇట్ డిపెండ్స్ ఆన్ ద మేజర్ ఇట్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఇన్ అవర్ హ్యాండ్స్ నా ఓకే సార్ దేర్ ఆర్ దేర్ ఆఫీషియల్స్ సజెషన్స్ डेफिनेटली వి గో ఫర్ ద ఆఫ్ లైన్ క్లాస్ ఓకే సార్ ఓకే నాన్న